What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another Blu-ray haul video. This one is special because it is Black Friday 2021, and I haven't been to a Black Friday sale in about two years just because of what's going on in the world. So I will say this one was awesome to me, and I really wasn't even planning on doing one, but we decided to go out because we were still feeling the effects of the feast from yesterday's Thanksgiving, guys at my girlfriend's family's house, as well as my mom's and my grandma's. Oh my God, so much food. So I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, whatever you guys call it. I hope you guys had a great, loved, amazing time around wonderful people. Okay, now that out of the way, this is a Blu-ray haul, so I am a collector, you guys know it, you guys have seen my videos in the past where I do talk about physical media, so if you guys are fans of videos like that, make sure to hit that big thumbs up to like the video, it's the best way to support the channel, and if you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe and bell notification down below to always get alerted about future videos like this. Okay, so the Goodwill was having a 50% off sale. I believe it was nationwide, at least in my area. So we did hit up about three or four Goodwills. And man, some of the selections were better than others, but I did get some pickups at each location. So I'll just knock this out of the way. This was on the shelf behind the register. And I do collect a little bit of Funko Pops right there in the back. I'm a little more selective, but I didn't have this one from Tommy Boy. It's actually, you know, I might, wanna, might as well just take it out of the box. It's like an only at Target exclusive. But once again, I got it at the Goodwill and it was 50% off. This one's from one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's Tommy Boy right here. So I do have another Tommy Boy figure right there. Chris Farley, rest in peace. But this one is the fat guy in a little coat. So I'm really, really happy I got that. So originally $8, got it for $4. So once again, 50% off literally everything in the store so let's go to the first pickup right here with the slip cover it is 2014's godzilla now this one is in fantastic condition once again a slip cover right there it is open so it is used and the reason why i say that is because some of those are still packaged up with the plastic wrap around it so yeah this is just a really really good good through and through movie brian cranston in there as well as aaron taylor johnson and elizabeth olsen so definitely check this one out especially if you guys are going to watch godzilla vs kong that came out earlier this year which i did see and i did enjoy so you can't watch that one without watching this one before boom godzilla king of the monsters now i had a really really fun time with this movie once again seen it i just don't own any of the films so godzilla godzilla king of the monsters this one just amped it up i had so much fun this is the one where they introduce millie bobby brown vera farmiga love that character right there once again a slip cover i think the same person that donated the last one godzilla donated this one to the goodwill and once again i got it for half off all right, now next up is one of my favorite stoner comedies. And yes, comedies and stoner comedies are definitely, there's a subgenre in there, guys, for comedy. So this one right here is no exception. It is Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. This is the first one. They actually made three films from what I remember. Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay. And there's a third one. I forget the name, but it's a Christmas one. Now this one right here is the extreme unrated cut, which will be my first time watching it. I don't know what's different about it than the theatrical cut, but I remember seeing this in theaters and I also do remember seeing it just kind of catching it on VOD or some kind of streaming site afterwards. Now this one right here is extremely fun. Once again, if you guys don't know what this is about, it's a stoner buddy comedy where they're literally, just, they just get stoned. They're in college and they just try to go to a White Castle. If you guys are unfamiliar with the White Castle, it's usually an East Coast thing. I don't think we really have any out here, but White Castle is just a famous burger joint that they're trying to go to and just kind of curb their hanger, man, and, and get the munchies on, right? So the whole mission is to get to White Castle. So I'm so glad I can add that to my collection. At one point, I did have it on DVD, and then I just kind of donated it or sold it. I forget what I did, but it's great to have that in Blu-ray because I don't think they're going to make any 4K of that. So yeah, next up is a blind buy, I will say. And it did come with a slip cover, guys. It is The Fault in Our Stars. Now, this one in chats, a lot of people ask me, have I seen this one? Do I plan to check this one out? 
I know it's for the YA young adult audience, but you know, I might give it a chance. It's not really my cup of tea, but this one, I saw the trailer a while back when it did come out around 2014 or so, and it seemed like, you know, a tearjerker. I kind of know a little bit about the girl's struggle here. Shailen Woodley, that's exactly who she is, and that's Ansel Elgort right there. And yeah, once again, beautiful, beautiful slipcover. Should be a nice little teen heartthrob love movie. Let me know if you guys have seen that one. Do you guys think I'll enjoy it? Uh, I do like Notebook. I mean, it's a, that was a really good one, but I, I know they're more adults and these ones are teens, you know, so that may be the difference. But jumping to another one that a lot of you guys might be upset that I kind of picked up, but I just wanted to see some metal on metal clashing. And what I'm talking about is Transformers Age of Extinction. I don't know if this is one of the worst, you know, worst ones in the series. I would say worster. I know that's not a word, but I just heard these kept getting bad progressively throughout the series. This one, Age of Extinction, I think this was the one before the last night, if I'm com being completely honest. I don't really know. I haven't seen any of the ones with Mark Wahlberg. So you guys let me know, is this one fun? I think he's in two of them, if I'm not, you know, not mistaken. But this one right here, once again, it is opened already, but it does have a slip cover. All right, guys, now next up is a complete blind buy, but I do love Adam Sandler, Happy Madison Productions, and I like Kevin James a lot. And I never saw this one for whatever reason. And it is is Zookeeper with Kevin James right here. I think he's a really, really fun character. I think this is just kind of like a Dr. Doolittle, if I'm being completely honest. No slipcover on this one, but you guys let me know. It looks like Rosario Dawson's in it. Once again, I have no clue. It's only PG, so it may be a little more kid-friendly than what I'm used to from Happy Madison. But you guys let me know in the comments below, have you seen this one? Do you think I'll enjoy it? All right, now next up, I'm really excited. I do actually own a copy of this movie. Not the 4K, I have the Blu-ray, but I think... Just in my personal opinions, sometimes if a movie is like within the last 20 years, I won't get the 4K upgrade because there's not much of a difference, at least to me, noticeably. But I know that's debatable. But I wanted to get this one because I don't have this version in my collection. It's a steelbook of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Absolutely love this movie, guys. Uh, Edgar Wright, who we more recently saw in Last Night in Soho, which I absolutely loved. And I'm a huge fan of Shaun of the Dead and that whole trilogy that he created uh, with those characters. So this is an awesome, awesome steelbook. As you guys can notice, a little bit of dirt right there on there. It's totally fine. I can, I think right here on his arm too, I just noticed. Uh, yeah, so I could just kind of rub, rub that off with like a little wipe or whatever, and it's totally fine. So usually I've seen a lot of these steelbooks like at either Best Buy or even Big Lots, surprisingly, they have this steelbook uh, version. I've seen it, but it's sold out before I could even get my hands on a copy. So it's awesome that I have this in my collection. Once again, a Blu-ray. Uh, and I've seen it before, and I know it's an awesome, epic film. All right, next up is a complete blind buy. And I don't know how you guys are going to feel about me picking this one up, but it only came out to like $1.50. So I took a chance on it. And I like some of these characters involved, or, well, some of the actors involved, I'll say. Seth Rogen, Christoph Waltz, Cameron Diaz. It is the Green Hornet right there. Now, once this was advertised, I didn't even know anything about the Green Hornet, and I didn't even know that it had Christoph Waltz or Cameron Diaz in it. All I knew was Seth Rogen, and it was real slapsticky, and it got really bad reviews. But you guys let me know. It's a Sony film. I remember they had a Green Hornet show from back in the day with this character, I believe, Kato, who was played by Bruce Lee. That was kind of his big claim to fame when he crossed over to American cinema. But once again, you guys let me know this version of Green Hornet. Is it worth checking out? At least one and done. Only a couple bucks. I'm not going to complain. I'll, I'll spend some time on it. Next up, guys, is a complete classic to me. And I, I know the CGI by today's standards is pretty dodgy. But I do love the performances in this film. And I don't own it, surprisingly. It is Will Smith in I Am Legend. Absolutely one of the most heartbreaking uh, scenes uh, for me with him and his dog. I will just say that if you guys haven't seen the film. But this is kind of cool. Up here it says includes alternate theatrical version with controversial ending. I never seen that version. So I'm going to be watching this sooner than later. And I'm really, really excited for this. So you guys know about I Am Legend. I don't really have to explain this one too much. So yeah, you guys let me know. If you've seen I Am Legend, what'd you guys think about it? And next up on the Will Smith train, this is like a double pack of Will Smith right here. Someone donated. Will Smith is Hitch. Now, absolutely love this movie. I don't think there's anybody in my generation growing up years that hasn't seen Hitch. 
you know, you gotta love this movie. It has such it's such a feel good movie. I mean, it has Kevin Hart once again, Will Smith, Eva Mendez in there as the love interest. I think they had a really really great chemistry, by the way, Will Smith and Eva Mendez. But I like the story along the way, and it is quirky, and there is you know some comedy along the way, and more in the family friendly. <laughs> fashion it just popped in my head the scene of him having an allergic reaction and <laughs> that's a really funny scene and then of course him teaching kevin james to dance i believe to ushers yeah it's an awesome awesome fun fun movie that i think it does stand the test of time so definitely check out hitch let me know if you guys have seen it in the comments below now next up is a complete blind buy but it was in such pristine condition and it sounded very interesting and the stars Whoa, I couldn't I couldn't pass up on this for a couple of bucks. It is water for elephants. And look at that. Pristine condition, guys. Blu-ray plus digital. Uh this is great. This is a you know, if I just bought it for the for the cover alone, that's a great great just I don't know what you even call this, but it's like more rainbow esque cover but it's just in phenomenal condition guys and this is something probably at the time that went for about 25 dollars and it's sealed it's absolutely sealed water for elephants right here uh read a little bit about it robert pattison reese witherspoon and uh yeah this one does look like it's gonna be a fun time another one with christoph waltz it says right here on the back and next up i don't remember this movie at all but i remember seeing it at least once in my life and i do want to see it again to see if it would kind of you know is there was there a reason why i didn't watch it again but it is battle los angeles right here and it's, i believe this is a post-apocalyptic world movie from what i remember uh i don't even remember who's really in it if i'm being completely honest aaron eckhart michelle rodriguez okay so it's coming back to me a little bit wow the singer neo and also michael pena are in this so i absolutely don't remember this movie for whatever reason it just maybe it didn't leave a lasting impression from me but yeah it says it's independence day meets district nine except cooler so i'll have to watch this once again you know maybe just in bed as i'm trying to fall asleep or something like that but i like these movies and especially for a couple of bucks i'll add it to my collection and if i don't like it then i'll just donate it afterwards all right now next up a transformer movie that i definitely do remember watching it's the first transformers if you guys can't tell this is an interesting version too by the way Never really seen this version. Maybe it came in a set or something like that, but you guys let me know. It's a little bit sun damaged. I know you can't see it because the whites or whatever, but right here, uh, it's a little bit water damaged, like someone spilled something on it. You could probably see it more right there. I believe that's Megatron's face. I'm not really sure. But yeah, Optimus is pretty messed up right here in the front. But I thought this is a pretty cool slip right here. I don't know if this came in a pack. It just says two disc special edition. It is a Blu-ray. But I remember having a fun time with this. I think this is one of the movies that is cemented as far as a staple in like my teenage times. Because when this did come out, 2007, okay, I lied. So this is after my teenage years. I was, you know, maybe early 20s when this did come out. But Shia LaBeouf, Megan Fox. You got a bunch of Michael Bay explosions everywhere. What's not to love? Especially, you know, in the early 2000s. I remember really liking this. And I've only seen the original Transformer movie maybe once. I mean, maybe a few parts on television. I don't usually count those. So this will kind of be another, you know, nice little rewatch for me one of these days. But you guys let me know. Do you have the Transformers movie in your collection? At least the first one. And what should I expect from the rest of the films? Because I never really saw any of the sequels that followed. Now, next up is an absolute classic. Everyone talks about Tommy Boy. And I know I showed you guys a little Funko of Tommy right here. That guy in a little coat. But not too many people talk about this movie that he did. Black Sheep with also David Spade in this film. Now, this one was extremely fun. The chemistry between them was extremely similar to Tommy Boy. I think that's why people maybe panned it. I'm not really sure how it was well received. Didn't have this one in my collection on Blu-ray. I do have it on DVD, so this one will be an upgrade for me. Absolutely love this character that <laughs> Chris Farley does play. That's a really, really funny scene. I just remembered, it also has uh, Gary Busey. You can't really see him too much right there there he is gary Busey. he has a really really funny scene where he actually fights chris farley in this movie and they talk about laser disc so it, I, I, that's all i'm gonna say you guys gotta watch the movie this one's really really funny and slapsticky and i think chris farley is more of that 
physical humor where he he you know he's used to like smacking his head you know getting hit with things uh falling down hills and he's just that type of guy where he was really cementing himself of being that kind of actor and his life was really really cut short once he hit on the scene if you guys don't know he was actually supposed to be the voice of shrek he would have been phenomenal. He actually did some test voice work with Shrek. You guys can look that up on YouTube. Just type in Chris Farley Shrek and you guys can hear how it would have possibly been if Chris Farley was the voice instead of Mike Myers. So once again, rest in peace. Black Sheep is a great, great movie alongside Tommy Boy. Now, last but not least, guys, Al Pacino in 88 Minutes. Never even heard of this film. Never even heard of this film. It says 2007. We got another 2007 film here. I do like Al Pacino, but for whatever reason, I didn't catch any of his movies later in life. I know I saw him in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. We saw him just a few days ago in House of Gucci. I know he still got work under his belt, but there was a time period, maybe like in the late 90s, early 2000s, where I just didn't catch any of his work. So I'm actually really, really excited to see this one. It says it's suspenseful and thrilling, so a crime thriller right up my alley all right guys and those are my pickups for this black friday 2021 15 titles for only about 33 dollars so i think that's a great great deal to add these to my collection i'm sure i'm gonna like all of them and once again if i don't i donate them to the used physical media place and they give me either cash credit or just a trade-in value i usually do the trade-in value because it's more so once again, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think of my pickups? And these each came out to about $2. And I think it's a pretty damn good deal for Blu-rays. And before you guys leave, make sure if you do like videos like this to hit that big thumbs up. It's the best way to support the channel and it does spread these videos out to those that aren't subscribed. And if you yourself aren't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe and bell notification down below to always get alerted about future videos like this. All right, guys, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.